Ever wondered how to make your crypto work harder for you? Asset management firms might just have the answer. Recently, Grayscale, known for its Bitcoin exchange traded fund, introducing its newest endeavor, the Dynamic Income Fund. What makes this fund special? Let's dive in. So what exactly is Grayscale's Dynamic Income Fund? Simply put, it focuses on investing in proof-of-stake tokens. This actively managed investment product aims to optimize returns through staking rewards linked to these digital assets. Sounds interesting, right? Here's how it works. Uh, first, they raise funds from investors, then utilizing both qualitative and quantitative techniques, they allocate capital to a diverse portfolio of proof-of-stake tokens. Um, afterward, they start staking those tokens to rake in rewards, uh, convert the earned token rewards into cash on a weekly basis, and distribute that cold, hard cash to shareholders every quarter. Neat. Now, let's talk about what kind of coins we can expect to see in this fancy new fund. According to Grayscale, initial offerings will likely include Osmosis, Solana, Polkadot. Keep in mind that these could shift based on the whims of the fund manager. And sometimes the percentages don't even add up to 100%. In 1960, it wanted not be at EV a bed. It's all part of the thrilling world of finance. Uh, for those unfamiliar, staking refers to when investors lock down a portion of their tokens to help validate blockchain network transactions. By doing so, they receive tasty transaction fee or rewards. But here's the rub. Each token comes with its own set of rules regarding staking and unstaking. That's where Grayscale wants to shine by streamlining everything for investors. Uh, but alas, there's always fine print. Uh, access to GDIF is limited to folks who meet specific wealth criteria, often dubbed qualified clients. Think you fit the bill? Uh, well, if you've got a cool uh, $1,100,000 lying around in assets under management uh, or possess a net worth over double that, uh, then congrats, you're probably eligible. Uh, and flipping the coin, let's examine another uh, hot topic, the Bitcoin ETF scene. Recent data indicates a striking comeback for this market segment after facing hefty withdrawals recently. For instance, Grayscale's GBTC ETF barely bled any money compared to previous weeks, reporting merely $104.9 million lost on March 28th. Quite impressive indeed. Meanwhile, competing companies showcase robust growth numbers, having attracted approximately $844 million during the first four days of April alone. Mind-blowing, among them, BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin ETF led the volume charge with $95.1 million flowing in on March 28th. Hot on its heels was Fidelity Investments' Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust, amassing $68 million on the very same day. Despite these eye-catching digits, remember, neither company broke records on those particular dates. Back on March 12th, BlackRock's iShares peaked at $849 million, whereas Fidelity hit its stride earlier for a March, nabbing $473 million. Regardless, positive trends continue pushing forward. And finally, take a gander at this astonishing statistic. Since beginning operations on January 11th, the collective Bitcoin ETF market has already accumulated roughly $12.5 billion. Just imagine where we'll be six months from now. All joking aside, though, the current leading cryptocurrency currently hovers near $69,500 after dipping slightly beneath the psychologically important $70,000 mark. Will it recover and surge higher? Only time it will tell. So stay tuned, because until next time, keep exploring and learning about the ever-evolving landscape of cryptocurrencies.